Hi everyone, it's Althea from methmg.com and today I'm sharing my updated recipe for bake or float. I shared my original recipe seven years ago. It's very popular on my YouTube and on my blog and over the past seven years I've made a little tweaks to the recipe here and there and so I wanted to come to you guys and bring the updated recipe. So if you're interested in finding out what changes I've made, stick around and let's get to it. Let's start by dissolving half a cup of brown sugar in one cup of warm water. Mix together really well until all of the sugar crystals dissolve and then set aside. Now let's work on our dry ingredients. Add three cups of flour to a large mixing bowl followed by two teaspoons of baking powder, add a pinch of salt if you like, and one tablespoon of fat. I'm using coconut oil but you can use butter, ghee, or even just regular oil. Rub the fat into the flour, then make a well in the center of the bowl in preparation for that sugar water solution. Add the sugar water solution and mix everything together until it's all incorporated to form a really soft dough. You may add a little bit of flour to this dough if it's too sticky to work with, but remember we're going for a really nice and soft dough so don't add too much flour. Now for this next part I like to have clean hands, so I'll go ahead and remove all of the excess dough from my fingers and then I'm going to wash my hands and come back with clean hands to knead this dough. With nice clean hands, knead the dough for about 5 minutes until it forms into a nice smooth ball. You really want to give it a good knead here to get all the ingredients to come together and then cover it with a kitchen towel and let it rest for about 30 minutes before moving to the next step. 30 minutes later, turn your dough onto a floured surface and roll it with your rolling pin into a really thin disc. I like to roll it out until it's about an eighth of an inch and then using a cookie cutter, a hand pie cutter, or even just a nice round bowl, I cut my dough into 12 equal pieces. This part is really kid friendly because you can use cookie cutter with all sorts of different shapes and your kids can help you to cut the dough out. Now I don't want any dough to waste so I'm going to take that excess dough, form it into another ball, roll that out again and keep cutting until I have all of my baked pieces ready to fry. With the last bit of excess dough that I have, I'm going to roll that up into a nice small ball and I'm just going to roll that out into one last bake and fry that as one. So no cookie cutter, or no bowl or anything needed for that last piece. To cook the bakes, add four cups of oil, suitable for frying to a large pot on medium heat. Bring the oil up to temperature, then add a few bakes to the pot. I'm using a large frying pan or wok here, and it's large enough for three or four bakes. If you can't manage frying more than one bake at a time, just stick to one bake. Safety is always first in the kitchen and don't fry more than one bake until you're actually comfortable managing that. Let your bake cook for about a minute, a minute and a half on each side or until that side is golden brown. Then flip it and cook for another 30 seconds to a minute on the other side or also until that side's golden brown. Then remove your bake from the heat. Place into a bowl lined with paper towel or a dish towel to drain any excess oil from the bake and continue the frying process until all of your bakes have been cooked. Sometimes when I want a really golden brown bake that's even on both sides, I fry my bake for about 30 seconds on one side. When it starts to swell up and get to a point where it's almost going to pop open, I flip it over for another 30 seconds to a minute and then I flip it back over and fry it on that other side for another 30 seconds. So this time I'm actually flipping the bake twice to get that really even golden brown color. You can try either methods of cooking the bakes to see which one works for you. Here are all of my bakes that I finished cooking. I made a dozen bakes. They're all about the same size. They're all about the same brownness, that even golden color. And they just smell amazing. And my kids and my husband just ate these up instantly. Here's what one of them looked like on the inside. It has an awesome pocket for stuffing saltfish or whatever you want to eat it with. It's crunchy on the outside and soft on the inside. Thanks for watching and I hope you give this recipe a try.